Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars adventure in Star Maid. And we're on the Star Squadron server here. And so let us continue with what we are doing. So we need to start the formation of our new spacecraft. So our building platform is right here, our little building spaceship or whatever you want to call it, which has our personal cargo. I think if I go inventory, all the cargo is set to, this is all coming from that cargo thing, I think. So this is where this, this hot bar, or maybe this is my actual inventory? Oh, never mind. I was going to say, <laughs> this is all in the hot bar stuff, but let's actually see if we can move this stuff into the ship. Let's see, jump drive, white light. Okay, I think that's everything. So how do I move everything into here? Or can I? Maybe we have to actually move it into there, and then I can do that. Sorry, I'm still experimenting with this personal cargo, so if you may know how this all works, then I apologize for me kind of bumbling through this, but this is how I learned. So let's throw all this stuff in here, because we want to access this. Oh yeah, we got lots of volume still. Okay, perfect. So, now in theory, we should be able to use our cargo and spawn in a brand new ship. Where do we want to do that? Let's do that over here more, some more. Kind of away from the ship. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do it over here. We'll have it facing kind of this way, I think. So if we go inventory, hit cargo. Let's go, what? X for new ship? Ah, uh, here we go. We're going to call this one the Demurian Empire Runabout. So basically, this would be our runabout ship. Um, I'm not sure if that's the actual name for it, but that's kind of what we're going to call it. That's what we're going for. So let's kind of align this ship core to, uh, for it to make a whole bunch of sense. So here's the ship. So if this is going to be the front of the ship, so maybe we'll just build it like this. Um, no, actually we'll build it like this. This is how I want it to be. Perfect. Okay, so this is the core. Now the core represents the center of the ship. You know what? Never mind. I should just go through with what I'm going to do this whole episode. So this whole episode is going to be probably part one of many where we're going to build our new spacecraft. And then shortly after we build our new spacecraft, we're going to go on a little harvesting run and a combat testing run. So yeah, so hopefully you'll enjoy this series. Or I'm hoping it won't be more than one episode, but you never know. It might be more. And so yeah, so off to the races and... Here I go explaining what I know about StarMade and about what I know about how to craft all this stuff. So first things first, you start with your core. This is where you enter your ship always to to access stuff and to do things, right? So with that in mind, we need to kind of create an entry point. So a lot of times what I do is I use like these metal grills. We can always change them out, so it's not a big deal. But I'll kind of do something like this. And then we'll have the floor down beneath us, right here. This, if this is the floor, so this would be the core, and the ship, the bottom of the ship will be like so. And if you look at the top left-hand corner, you can kind of see the length of the ship. So, I'm not sure how big the ship's going to be initially, but I know that we need to elongate the ship. And... I was going to start with the interior of the ship and I was going to make the floor of the ship using this metal grill. And we're just going to go, let's see, how what's the length? The length of my old ship was about 60, so let's do about the same. See what happens. 58, 59, 60. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Excellent. So now, so this is going to be the core room. So I'm just going to try and flesh this out. So we should actually put in a symmetry plane. Uh, I think like this. Yeah, like this. That way we can kind of start messing around with a chamber here. Uh, let's not make it too big. Let's see, something like that maybe? Because the hallways I only want to be one wide, so that's fair enough. This room I want to be a little bit of a room. So maybe we'll make it one more. Do like this. 
It will go bang, 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 bang. Okay. I think that's what we'll do. That's going to be this room here. It will be kind of like the core room. It will be a two wide. There's like a two gap. This will all change at some point, but we got to start with something somewhere, right? And then the roof. Well, typically interiors are three high. Typically. But I think we might only have them too high. So which means that this might be the roof. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a metal grill. I don't know if I want to do that. Let's just kind of use the metal grill to see what that looks like. Because you're going to watch me build this. I kind of have a design laid out, but I just want to see what this ship looks like. Yeah, I might leave it as metal grill because you can see the interiors of the ship with that. It's kind of neat. So it's kind of a neat design I want to try with this. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. But I'm going to go all the way this way as well. Yeah, maybe we'll just make it too high in the inside. On, on the most part, ships are usually three high, I think. That's probably just the standard, but... The ship needs to be a little bit more compact than standard. Area not initialized, yes. Please build, build slower. That's cool. I've never seen that before. And this would be the back of the ship. All of these alongside the ship would be engines, I think. Let's kind of zoom out a bit here. Yeah, that's kind of where I want it to be, right? About in that, in that area like that. And then we're going to have a little bit to the side. Uh, let's see here. I think we're going to have like this. Something like this. Not sure how wide, though. The ship right now is what? Width of 21 meters? We don't want to go too much more because then it's going to look disproportionate. So let's actually keep it the thickness as this. And so you basically the next step would be to create, to place the red standard armor, right? Which would be, I think, just blocks. I think what we can do, let's do black standard, let's do advanced armor. Let's make this as the entrance way. I'm just kind of thinking out loud, so I tell you what, I'm going to probably pop it to some music and I'll let you watch me build.
Okay, perfect. So, here we go. I put in kind of where I'm going to put my thrusters, kind of where the the power generation is at the moment, which is pretty amazing, I think. What are we at? We're at 81,000 E per second. I'm not sure if that's good. Probably not. It's probably small, but for a runabout, it's, it's not designed to be big, right? It's, it's designed to for us to run about. So, as I flesh more of this out, hopefully it will make sense. I will put more systems into play. Um, but I'm going to have to work on the front of the ship here, and then I'm going to have to attach kind of where where I want the observation deck to be, and then I want to attach the the beam weapons and stuff. and Well, not beam weapons, but like the salvager and all that fun stuff, right? So, yeah, so that will be coming up fairly shortly here. So, yeah, so... So this is kind of the design we're going for. It's still very much amalgamous. <laughs> but if you noticed here, I kind of tried to put this in the middle, you know, this hallway. So that way then the engines will be up above and below it. I kind of didn't, I didn't account for that. And so now I have. So that should be good. And I do plan on creating more power generation columns in here. I do have a plan of sticking another set of these things. So I'm going to stick another set of the power here, kind of on this side as well. So if we see where those columns are, we'll have to go out two, I think. One, two, and then the power can start, I think, right here. Get rid of these two, and then we'll just bring the power back. So yeah, so I will carry on here, and I will see you on the flip side of this.
perfect so here we are so we got some more power generation happening we're fleshing out the thrusters just a tad tiny more we're obviously gonna have to keep adding them because we need lots and lots of these bad boys I know I can use this thing as well 33 let's bring it down to 10 is that a good chunk to to do yeah I think so I think so so yeah so I don't know so hopefully this is becoming interesting for all of you but this is how I do it it just takes a lot of time to build these ships it takes a lot of time to kind of just you know start the process and you know it takes some time to get creative for me a little bit sometimes so yeah so this ship is turning out actually a lot better than I had hoped it's, it's looking nicely I got I kind of have a general shape I'm going for I still need to add more thrusters and I think that's what I'll do is I'll go forward I don't want to add too many because I want to see where all this power generation is I might want to add a little bit more power generators so I might create another kind of column kind of right here uh, right through here just like it's like that so on both sides right we'll have columns going up and down like like so and and then probably some more another kind of row of power all the way up to the front I might want to do it down here or down below because there's more room down here so we could do that and kind of just kind of overlap the same kind of thing so that way we have five or six or seven different kind of engines in here and then we'll put our systems in throughout that of course so yeah so I think I'm gonna call it this episode here hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and I'm gonna to have to install a faction module on this do I have a faction module let's just buy one I might have one but you can never have too many of these ones we have lots of money too so it's not a big deal and if we go see faction yeah we do have a faction module so we'll install one of these bad boys here and then we'll call it an episode so let's see where do we put the faction module faction modules almost central to everything maybe we'll just throw it right under here that sounds like a good, good spot it should be pretty safe and protected here so now we're protected now it's factioned so now no one can just hop into it and fly away which is great but no, it looks good. I'm going to carry on with this ship in the next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.